We're Jess and Miles. In 2019, we quit our jobs, sold our house, put all of our things in storage, and packed up to leave on what we were planning to be a two-year journey around the world. Fast forward 10 countries and five and a half months later to March of 2020, and as it did with so many people, COVID-19 completely turned our world and our plans upside down. We were forced home and have been back in the States ever since. We are so grateful for the time we were able to travel, and that all started with an amazing month in Australia. tasting. Yep, yep, yep. It's a koala bear. <laughs> Australia was such a great place to start our journey. Most of our time there was planned out before we left, so it really felt more like a vacation, but that all changed once we made our way to Southeast Asia. After a long layover in Singapore, we made our way to Myanmar with no concrete plans and a quarter of the budget we had in Australia. Over the next four and a half months, we made our way from Myanmar to Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Malaysia, Indonesia, and then finally the Philippines. They really don't give you much instructions. They just kind of give you the bike and off you go. Got to get that Insta shot. Jess was just summoned for a photo by this lovely lady. We think he's our guy. We've been together since college and we have always enjoyed traveling. Our first trip together was actually to Italy back when we were only 20 years old. And as our passion for travel has grown over the years, we've really fallen in love with experiencing new cultures. So we quit our jobs to travel full time and give ourselves the opportunity to follow our passion and experience as much of the world as we can. We created our channel Waypoint of View in order to share our journey around the world. We believe putting yourself somewhere new on a map and getting exposure to new places and cultures is the best way to open your eyes and broaden perspectives. And over the past six months, we've tried to get off the beaten track as much as possible. We love the true, authentic experiences, the ones you can't plan, you don't necessarily anticipate, but when you find yourself running out of gas in the middle of Laos and end up having beers with strangers or making pho with your homestay host in Vietnam only using Google Translate, these are the encounters that stay with you forever. One of our favorite parts about exploring a new culture is the food. We love going to markets and finding those local spots that don't have English menus. Some of our favorite days were our DIY food tours when we would go around a new place and try as much of the local food as we could. Eating my way through a city might be my favorite way to learn about a new place. We love adventure and pushing ourselves outside of our comfort zones. Whether it's a 400 kilometer motorbike loop in Northern Vietnam, hiking to the top of a volcano for sunrise in Bali, 
four-wheel driving on the largest sand island in the world in Australia, or scuba diving in some of the most remote areas in Indonesia. It's tough to beat the feeling you get after trying something you've never done before. But it's always the people that have the most lasting impact on us no matter where we go. We have met some amazing people along the way, and some of our favorite encounters are when verbal communication just isn't an option. But regardless, we just fumble through with hand gestures, a lot of nodding, smiling and laughing. But it is amazing the kind of connections you can form with no words at all. To say that we love travel would be an understatement. Everything we see and experience just makes us want to see more. And while we can't currently travel internationally, there's still so much of our own country we haven't seen. So even though it's not what we originally had planned, we are so excited to explore more of the U.S. and we hope you'll stick around for what's next. Yeah.